Well, welcome everyone to a tutorial on RetroShare, the very basics of how to get it, how to start it up, how to make an ID, and basically how to connect to your friends. What is RetroShare? It's this awesome kind of secure communications hub where you can share communications, files, you name it, securely, privately, uh, irregardless of your operating system. However, I strongly recommend you build your foundation on Ubuntu, which is what you're looking at right now, uh, which is a most excellent um, operating system based on privacy, simplicity, and security. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm on a web browser here in a search engine, and I'm gonna look for RetroShare you're looking for the SourceForge uh, uh, area here. So it's the website SourceForge. There it is. RetroShare SourceForge.net. I'm going to click that. And I'm, when it loads, I'm going to download the appropriate application file, install file. Here it is here. Click that. And as with any other online download it'll prompt you to save the compressed file to your computer I'll just leave it in the default location which is the downloads directory located right here as you can see this is not my first attempt to try to get this <laughs> tutorial so I've got a few other doubles of that same file there while that's downloading um, I can go ahead and start teaching you because it's already here. So to get RetroShare going for the first time after you've installed it, it should appear right here on your launcher. However, it may not for whatever reason. So here's how you find it if it's not on your launcher or if you're restarting your computer and looking for it. Push the super key on your computer or push this guy up here. Same thing. Type Retro. And there it is, right there. Click it, and it will open. There you go. So, I will recommend locking it to your launcher so that you don't lose it next time. Right click. Oh, it's already locked, so let me unlock that. So you'll see this screen, lock to launcher. So go ahead and do that, lock it to your launcher, and next time you turn on your computer, it'll be sitting right where you left it on the left side here. Okay, let's move forward and get it going, shall we? Click it. Now, as you notice here, I've already got some keys that I've messed around with, so I'm going to start a new one here. Your screen's going to look like this. Create a new identity. So what are you going to name this? Now, by the way, take a look down here and notice that this red guy is moving at a snail's pace towards completion and what exactly is happening there no nothing's downloading to your computer everything's safe all it's doing is grabbing random data from your mouse movement uh, by the way left to right slow seems to move it the fastest round in circles anyway while it's gathering random data it's going to be uh, completing so now while that's going on you can go ahead and type your computer and uh, your username. I'm going to call it Wayner. That's what sister called me when I was growing up. Password. You're going to make a very strong password. I'm going to recommend that you, through your Ubuntu Software Center here, get a piece of software called KeyPassX, uh, which is this guy here. Okay, it's also located in your Ubuntu Software Center, which is the recommended way to install on Ubuntu. All right, this will this KeyPass X is a great password vault, so you can keep all your passwords there securely, and it will also generate very strong passwords for you and save them for you whenever you need them. And it's very easy to move those passwords into software or websites that you're using. It's just another great tool to have in your toolbox. Without further ado, here you are making your password. I'm going to make a very stupid simple one so don't listen to my keyboard as I type a, a fast unacceptable password. I'm going to repeat that again. 
And the location is um, kind of which computer you're using. You may have 36 computers in your house. You'll have to be, sh and they all might want to use the same ID, which is totally possible. You might even want to send files from one of your computers to another computer uh, securely. So just make sure you label it appropriately for the computer you're on now. I'm going to call this downstairs machine. Okay, this little guy is still not done, so I'm going to move my mouse back and forth, back and forth. One, two, pick up my shoes. Five, six, uh, knock on the door. Uh, anyway, okay, look, there, it's done. Thank goodness. All uh, right, generate new identity. Let's do this. It will prompt you for a password, which is the one you just made, which is hopefully much more secure than mine. Click OK, and it gives this warning message to me. I don't think it will happen to you. Uh, just click OK, yes, and there you go. You are rolling. This is RetroShare. So what is RetroShare? It's a kind of a, like I said, a hub, a secure place where you can do all these things that you're already doing, but this time securely. File sharing, connecting to friends, chatting with friends, instant messaging friends, uh, even VoIP. It has VoIP, which is voice over inter internet, so basically voice chatting is also in here. I'm not going to get into actually demonstrating all these things. I just want you to know they're here. File sharing is very important. And file sharing is really neat. It's like having your own cloud. So you can make available a file on your actual computer to any of your friends here. Awesome. There's also a messages. So if you, it's just the way this is set up is so nicely simple. It's just like having an inbox, like an email inbox. There you go. Compose a new message. How could that be easier? Here's a, your friends will look like this when they're finally in there. And you can compose a message to this guy, Wayne, distant peer. <laughs> and subject, just like an email, body of a message, you're good to go. Attachments up here. Everything's just like usual. Okay, so this is your kind of messaging, non-instant, email style system within RetroShare. Channels, so you can subscribe to other people's stuff just like you can in other popular systems. Forums, everybody knows what a forum is, but this one is secure. It's yours, you own it, you can be part of it or not. And getting started, make sure you take some time here to learn how to invite friends and add friends. But I'm gonna give you a very brief demo of that. But first, since you're using Ubuntu, you might have one tiny little bug that I have. If you'll notice here, I'm mousing over and the actual box that should have information in it is totally blank. Not cool, you think. Uh oh, well, don't worry, easy fix. Click the cog wheel here, setting button. Go down to appearance. Clean looks, change it to GTK Plus, click OK. Bob is now your uncle and mine. There you are. OK, moving on. Now you've got a rough idea how it looks on the inside. Now your friends. So click over here. This is obviously your add a friend wizard. You get four choices. Enter the certificate manually. When somebody sends you their invitation to join them, you can take their certificate, copy it, and paste it by clicking next here. But first, let's invite our friend. Um, sorry, manual was the, uh, this is the one you would click to do what I just said. You get a certificate file from your friend, okay? What we're gonna do though is we're gonna invite our mom or our friend to join us on RetroShare here. So send an invitation by email. Click next. Friend's email address, Wayne. Uh, at taylormail.ca, okay. It'll send this message below, which will invite them to join RetroShare, okay? And it'll open up your email client, all right? And if my email client was configured, all of that data would be in the body of an email ready to go out to them for an invitation. If you wanna add friends now, here you go. 
you're going to actually what is that yes again what I do here uh, sorry that my email client wasn't configured you're going to go here uh, add friends which can be done under the getting started area here all you really need to do is copy this stuff and give it to your friend and your friend is going to paste it here and vice versa if your friend sends you their PGP key which is this spam up here and you paste it here boom you connect but this little button here I find is useful it's the run email program which will basically create everything you need to say into an email again apologize that my email client is not configured to properly demonstrate that but you get the idea just click that button it'll happen and just follow the instructions done Bob's your uncle it will connect now please be aware because this is highly secure your uh, speed of the internet and connections here will be a little bit slow while it gets going and then it should get kind of it's hard to explain because I don't really know what's going on in the back end but it just kind of speeds up down here you may also need to adjust from normal mode to gaming mode if you're sending a large file this seems to speed it up okay that's a super basic overview of RetroShare. Again, I don't have a time to go into all the little details, hopefully later. But for right now, this will get you going and connected to your friends. And we hope to see you all using it, growing it, building it, and sharing it with everybody you know so it becomes standard out there, secure communications. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to talk to you soon.